السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو انادر کمپیوٹر سائنس لیکچر سو ان دا پریویس لیکچر وی اسٹارٹیڈ سیکشن سکس آٹومیٹیڈ اینڈ ایمرجنگ ٹیکنالوجیز اینڈ وی کورڈ سیکشن سکس پوائنٹ ون اباؤٹ آٹومیٹیڈ سسٹمس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ سیکشن سکس پوائنٹ ٹو روبوٹکس روبوٹ Robotics is uh, or robots, robotics, whatever you want to call it. It is a branch of computer science that involves the conception, design, manufacture and operation of robots. Robots are machines that have uh, mobility and they can perform some specific tasks based on the surrounding input. The word robot comes from the Czech word robota which means forced labor. Now, uh, the first thing in this chapter you need to know after the what is a robot is or robotics is, is that uh, the uses of robot. In domestic life or in homes, robotic vacuum cleaners such as Romba are used uh, to carry out cleaning jobs without any human inputs. In medicine, robots are used to assist in surgeries where human hands are unable to reach. In agriculture, they are used to apply fertilizers and pesticides on crops. In entertainment industry, robotic cameras are used to position viewing angles such as robotic drones and automatic drones. In industry, manufacturing robots carry out tasks such as welding the parts of a car frame together. In transport, robots are used in space exploration, for example, the Mars rover and many other rovers sent out in space. A system can be called a robot if it has the following characteristics. It has a mechanical structure or a framework. A robot should be a piece of machinery that usually has some movable part. It can be large or small. Second thing, it should have electrical components. It should have a combination of sensors, microprocessor and actuators. And the th third and most important, it should be programmable. It should be able to be programmed by a human in order to carry out uh, a specific or various tasks in a repetitive fashion until the process is complete or it is instructed to do something else. So these three are the necessities of a machine in order to be labeled as a robot. So if the examiner gives you a description of a system or a machine, if these three or at least two of them well, in fact, all three of them are present, then you can simply answer it. Yes, the said machine is a robot. Otherwise, answer it as the given machine is not a robot. Now, robotics uh, can be classified into two types, independent robots and dependent robots. Independent robots are those which do not need direct human control as they are autonomous, such as self-driving cars or Mars rovers or space probes which uh, do experimentations on their own they can replicate the human activity totally there is no need for a human to operate them or sit inside them or with a controller in hand in order to guide them every second or every minute now the other type is a dependent robot they always need a human who's controlling it or guiding it directly with a control panel or a joystick or something like that they can supplement rather than ro totally replace the human activity for example in a car assembly plant um, such as the plant for Suzuki or Honda even in a bike assembling plant various uh, the human workers and the robots they work together and uh, in order to produce a car or a, a bicycle or a motorcycle they don't uh, simply the process is not simply completely automated or robotic in nature now as per the Cambridge criteria you need to know the advantages and disadvantages so you can answer questions accordingly and accurately so here we are uh, last but not the least we have advantage first of all we are going to discuss advantages of robots in many situations, robots can increase productivity, efficiency, quality and consistency of products. As unlike humans, they do not get bored, they do not wear out, they don't get tired, 
they cannot be bored of doing the same thing again and again they can be very accurate to fraction of an inch uh, they can work in environments which are unsafe for humans such as in a nuclear uh, facility or uh, chemical industries they do not have the same environmental requirements that humans do such as proper lighting air conditioning or noise protection plus they have sensors or actuators which are more capable than humans disadvantages of robots are that the use of robots can create economic problems as it causes job loss for humans they can only do what they are told to do and they cannot improvise or they cannot think for their own uh, this means that safety procedures are needed to protect humans and other robots in the facility although robots can be superior to humans in some ways uh, they are less dexterous than humans means they don't have powerful brains they cannot make on spot decisions and they cannot compete with a human's ability to understand what they can see often robots are very costly they have very high initial cost they have very high uh, maintenance costs as well uh, and they often need extra parts or extra components in order to be programmed to do the task or do some other task task other than the task they were initially installed for so this completes our section 6.2 robotics i hope you have understood everything feel free to ask me below in the comment section if you have any problems take care allah hafiz